Hi everyone, it's Kaylee and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a book haul. Um, I, it is the end of February and I'm filming this and I realized I never posted a book haul for January. Uh, I was having a bad time at the beginning of February. I was in a book slump. It was just a bad time overall, but I am through the tunnel. The light is here. I am doing much better. I am reading my romance novels again. So we're gonna do a book haul. Uh, January was my birth month, so I did get a gift card from my husband um, and my son. So I did end up getting nine books with that gift card, which is a lot for Canada, if you know, because our books are really expensive up here. But I did was able to get everything on 30% off, and I was able to use the got it at a time when my plum points were worth more than they normally are, so I got um, discount, like plum discounts on top of that. So, um, I was able to get nine books. Plus I have other books that I got randomly throughout the past two months. So let's dive in. So the first one I got is Cosmic Kind of Love by Samantha Young. Um, I read The Love Plot by Samantha Young a few months ago and I loved it. So I am reading her back catalog. And so when I saw that one in the sale, I knew I had to get it. Next up is Consider Me by Becca Mack. Uh, this one I think is a hockey romance, but don't quote me on that. I've heard good things about Becca Mack, um, but I haven't read anything by her yet. I also got Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. Um, I've read the entire Dreamline Billionaire series, but I haven't started this one yet, so I'm excited to try that one. And the next one I got is Mr. Hockey by Leah Riley. I have not heard anything about this book or this author, but it was on the sale and it was a hockey romance, so I picked it up. I also got Hopeless by Elsie Silver. Uh, if you know me, you know that I love Chestnut Spring series. That is the final book in the Bloom Book covers and I love it. I also got Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. I have previously read Icebreaker and it is not my favorite, but I did love, 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 love Wildfire and I had to get Wildfire. And so when I saw that the icebreaker was on the sale, I decided to get it. I might give it a second read and see. I found it slogged a lot. Um, I might try the audiobook version because I did read the print version the last time, but yes, this isn't a review for that. But that is one of the other ones I got. And the other ones are still in their indigo packages. I haven't even really opened them. So let's see what they are. The first one is and now this one i am filming this at the end of february i already have swift and saddled this doesn't release until march 5th um i i don't know why i was so shocked when i got the notification that it shipped um i am probably going to start reading it right away this weekend and i cannot wait i loved done and dusted and i'm so excited for this one one of the other ones This is the one that you might have heard me talk about in my last book. This is Girl Abroad by L. Kennedy. This is the Indigo exclusive cover, hence why it's purple. Um, oh, the Indigo exclusive is a sticker. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Um, I did not like this book. This is one of the books that put me in a reading slump. And I, if you haven't read about my reading, well, listen, watched about my reading slump, you can check that out in the corner. Um, I just wasn't a book for me. I might go back and try it. I haven't even cracked the spine of this one. I read the ebook version and I DNF'd it. And yeah. And my last one is oh, The Catch by Amy Leah. This one also just released on February 12th. I did read this one, listen to that one. It is amazing. If you haven't read Amy Leah's series, you definitely, definitely need to check it out. I love Amy Leah. I love her influencer series. I will keep reading these books forever as long as she releases them. She does have another book that I haven't read yet. It's on my TBR and I really need to find the time to get to it. It is called Woke Up Like This. Um, it was uh, it was long listed for the Canada Reads Award. I am really excited to try that one. And now are some books that I got in February. This one is The Fake Mate by Lana Ferguson. I did listen to the audiobook version of this one. It is a paranormal fantasy. She is a, they are both werewolves actually, I believe in that one. Um, I had, I did really enjoy it and I love Lana Ferguson and I had the nanny, so I needed to get this one to go next to my shelf. And I was shopping for my son's Valentine's Day present. So I needed to get a romance book for myself. I also got Mixed Signals by BK Borison. This is book three in the Love Light Farms series. Um, I loved Love Light Farms and I was really excited for book two 
Um, I think that one was Into the Woods, Into the Weeds, something like that. And I wasn't as huge a fan of that one, so I'm hoping that Mixed Signals, the series, picks up again, but I'm really excited to try that one. I also have Set on You, which is also by Amy Leah. This is book one in that influencer series. If you haven't read this one, this one, she is a fitness influencer. Book two, I cannot remember the name of book two off the top of my head, but she is a bookstagram influencer. And the catch, she is a fashion influencer. Fashion, like lifestyle, I guess. And finally, I got The Fine Print by Lauren Asher. This is the first in the Dreamland Billionaires. I have already read this series, but it is like loosely like Disneyland kind of related. So I needed to get it for my shelf. I'm the hugest Disney nerd ever. My husband and I love going to the parks. Yes, we're in Canada, but we still try to go down to the parks whenever we can. Um, so yeah, I knew I needed to get that one as soon as possible. And I will probably get the rest of the series, but I loved book one the most. Even though I know most people liked book two or three better, I liked book one the most. And I think that was because it took place a lot more in Dreamland and had to do with their version of Imagineers, um, which is the like research and development team for Disney. So I think that's why this one held more of a special place for me than what books two and three did. But I will still probably get those for my, my shelves too. So those are all the books that I got in January and February. It's a pretty big haul because it was two months worth of books and it was my birthday month. So I don't feel too bad. Uh, have you read any of these ones? Leave me a comment below and let me know um, if you've read any of them, especially the Amy Leah. If you haven't read Amy Leah, check her out. She is amazing. I love her. But yeah, so subscribe and I do weekly uh, book reviews, about seven a week. And um, comment what if you liked any of these, like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff. And I will catch you next time. Bye.